So the idea of Global Health Made Local is to bring in medical students who are from a different culture and to match them with local families and have them work with the families in a collaborative form and mutually investigate aspects of health as they pertain to that family. GHML at MSIH started in the spring of 2013 with a pilot program of four months with eight members of the class of 2016. Uh, this year it continued with about 10 students of the class of 2017 as well as a couple of uh, students from the Israeli Medical School. Those students were paired with four or five different families and also with two community centers here in Beersheba. Um, they met with the families or community centers regularly and I think they all had good experiences. I was working at an Ethiopian community center and we would go and color and play with the children and then um, we started teaching them lessons about health, like about lice and about um, healthy nutrition and things like that. I was set up with a family who had a three-year-old autistic son recently diagnosed. So we went there and we tried to do different activities with him and just kind of feel out the new diagnosis and try to help the family in any way we could. I'm volunteering at it's basically a halfway house with an organization called Chosen, which is um, a center that treats former drug addicts and sex workers. So there's a group of five women there right now, currently, that we're working with, um, and each of them have a different story. It's been really, really rewarding because of that, especially because they have such a diversity of needs and personalities and challenges. And I think another thing that we're hoping to delve more into as the program gets bigger and stronger is to really integrate it more into the academic curriculum and have the, these interactions with families and interactions with community centers to spawn projects like literature reviews that can help us, inform us more academically about global health and uh, working internationally. I think it was helpful just to see firsthand how much, how often the patients are not really getting um, a full understanding of their condition. One specifically talking about a surgery that he may or may not have, but he wasn't really, un he didn't really understand exactly um, why the doctors wanted him to have it or not. I think it's definitely helped me to keep in mind that um, health is about so many different things, and especially um, with these women where health is very complicated by a lot of factors, social, cultural, um, like their families are involved, their children are involved. One of our theories is that it's better to learn this in an active, experiential learning environment rather than a didactic approach in the classroom. So from this program, we hope that in addition to benefiting uh, the families that participate, that it also serves as an avenue to learn uh, the social determinants of health and hopefully develop cultural competency uh, for the medical students.